day six, and earlier today our housemates finished the great pedal oak task, struck challenge of the year of our Lord 2003. But did they pass? All will be revealed today here on Big Brother's Little Brother. These you were two, you know. <laughs> And welcome to Big Brother's Little Brother. I hope you're all very well today. Coming up on today's show, we reveal exclusively, I might add, uh, whether the housemates passed or failed the first ever Big Brother task. Now, if they pass successfully, they live like kings, quite literally, uh, with £114. But if they bomb, they'll exist for a week as paupers. Find out in a couple of minutes. Plus, Radio 1 DJ Nimone's dropping by to tell us why she's been dreaming about Federico. Fingers crossed she's on the bike as we speak. But first, we kick off as we always do with Little Brother's Big News. Indeed. OK, Steph is celebrating her 28th birthday today. Anushka, Federico, Goss and Ray, which basically means Goss, between them, uh, slaved over a hot stove to make her a surprise birthday cake, a little pastry treat. Earlier this afternoon, they presented the birthday girl with the end results. Here's the cake here. I would break the yolk first, Anushka, in the middle and just start creaming it very slowly. I think after that one, Anushka, that should be enough and then we'll whack it in the oven in the fridge. No room in the bread. Well, you are, should really drink. I'll tell you what, if she's, if she's not happy with that, she can get lost. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Licking the spoon, very unhygienic. More tears in the house today. Nush uh, visited the diary room to tell Big Brother how guilty she felt about nominating Scott last Friday. Now, she liked him so much. Sissy Lace later found her crying in the, not the chapel, but the toilet. Take a look at this. I'm exactly. I'm just, I think oh, me and you are the most sensitive in this group. I was crying in my bed, Jess. Oh. oh, love. Oh, I thought I'd be fine. So did I. I really did, and it's through my head. I really thought I'd be okay. Crying, toys, toilets, girls. Winning combination. And finally, the educational partner show at about time to John, who's making a bit of a name for himself as the brains of the group, had a bit of a blue Peter moment with Tanya and Sissy earlier this morning. Take a look. What are you doing, John? Making a solar powered heater for the cool. For what? Just for a laugh? Yeah. The water's dribbling through very slowly. Oh, right. So it'll take a long time to go through and it will get heated up by the sun and hopefully the black plastic will hold some of the heat. Oh, um, but isn't it already hot? No, I mean, it's coming cold out the tap. And, uh, hopefully, it's not worked yet, but we'll see. You know, arguably, they would die without him, don't you? And in case you uh, weren't sure what he was talking about, he was trying to explain the principles of solar heating uh, created by black bin liners. Incredible. That was Little Brother's Big News. Now, of course, uh, there's some other massive news today. Earlier this afternoon, Big Brother told the housemates that, uh, that they passed or failed the pedalo test. Now, we know the answer, and in a couple of minutes, you will do also. But first, I want your opinion for today's cool BBLB. If you were Big Brother, imagine that, and you rule the house, if not the world, what task would you set the housemates? Would it be mental, menial, physical, or would it involve some creative uh, body paint of some sort of description? So today's cool, BL today's cool BBLB, and let us know what you think is how to get in touch. If you'd like to call us on Big Brother's Little Brother, call 09011, call BBLB. That's 09011-2255-2252. Or you can email us. The address is bblb at channel4.com. Or you can text us. Stick studio at the start of the message and send it to the Big Brother text number 85444. In just a minute we'll find out how the housemates did in this week's task but first let's go behind the scenes and big brother hq now we want to find out what this pedalo task was all about whether it went smoothly so we caught up with the crack team that's what it says here at least responsible as they made their preparations i wonder if any of them are in here Hi, I'm Ian Hollands, the task producer. Uh, it's early Sunday morning and it's time to put our first task in the house. One of these mornings won't be very long. You will look for me. I'll be gone. The task 
task for this week is the housemates have got to power a pedalo non-stop for 72 hours. Can you move the front end round about six inches towards the window, please? Um, they've got to keep it above a certain speed, which is 60 revolutions per minute. If you just have a look, there's a camera directly behind you, which uh, <coughs> we're going to be using for the main shot of this. Uh, we had to put the pedalo in this early in the morning to ensure that all the housemates were asleep safely in their bedrooms and we could lock them in. Happy to gallery. Are you happy with the position? We're all happy in the gallery. Um, get out of there now. It also means that we get a nice reaction from them first thing in the morning when they wake up and find that their task is in the house. What we're hoping is that people who possibly ordinarily might not talk to each other uh, as much will get a bit of time with each other in private and uh, we'll find out a bit more about each other. Right, that's us done. I'm going back to bed. All right, 12 housemates, 72 hours and one pedal low. No, it's not a pre Peter Greenaway film. It's the first task of Big Brother 4, and today it all ended at 12.36. Huge amount of stake for our little dirty dozen. Now, they bet uh, 50% of their weekly shopping budget, which is the minimum on the task. So if they won, they get £114 as a group, and they'll be living in the lap of luxury. If they lost, they'll have to scrimp and save on just £57 for the whole week, and that's a measly four seventy-five each. Not enough for a decent cod and chips. So first up, let's take a look at a rather interesting piece of footage from uh, Monday on the second day of the task. I don't know if we should leave it just... The six girls to stay up all night and do it. I mean, I don't. It's, it's not. Just, it's just sometimes like you don't trust anyone else apart from yourself. Yeah, exactly. But you yeah. see, if, for one split second, I mean, it, it dips under sixty. Very harsh. Okay, now for the moment, Big Brother told the housemates whether they passed or whether they'd failed. Take a look at this. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Ooh. All right. The results of this week's task are as follows. All the hell dance. I'm As required, housemates maintained a speed above 60 revolutions per minute Wait. for the duration Wait. of the task. There's going to be a but. 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 As required, <gasps> all changeovers were achieved in less than 20 seconds. But. but. However, <laughs> the rules state that except during changeovers, two housemates must be in the pedalo at all times. That's me. Housemates have therefore failed. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened? Who screwed up for the group? I think this little clip really does hold the answer. Take a look. Yeah, I'll jump off for a sec. Yeah. What? Keep going. We'll give him a scare. Right, no, you keep going. No, 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 no. I'll just go and get it. I'll just go and get it. No, you don't have to. Now you go. Keep going. No, no, don't. You're not allowed to get out. What are you talking about? You get 20 seconds between people going in and out. They're switching there. That's, oh, that, that is it. Huh? That happens, that's happened a few times. What has? With people jumping in and out. Really? Yeah. Federico, you big liar. So, Federico was the culprit. Now, he got out of the pedal for four seconds to get some gum. And as the big brother all state, except for a changeover, two people must be on the pedal at all times. So did he realise what he'd done? Did he feel guilty? We know that almost three hours later he went into uh, Big Brother to find out if his actions had made the group fail at the task. Here he is an hour later. Looks like he's got quite a lot on his mind there, as you can see. There. Very, very intense. Now... This task was designed to get the new recruits to bond and to tell us whether the housemates work well together as a group uh, or whether there are serious divisions uh, emerging within the camp. We've invited team building expert Conrad Humphreys to the show. Uh, now, just to give you a bit of context uh, as to what Conrad's done, he took a, a bunch of strangers on a 10-month round-the-world yacht race and won. So it's fair to say, I think, you know a little bit about team building, Conrad. Is that right? A little, a tiny bit. Absolutely. So what did you make of this task? Um, I think it was initially quite a simple task, um, although, as we've later on it, it subsequently became quite difficult and yeah. a, a task that required a lot of patience a lot of stamina um, not too challenging um, a nice easy one to get them going sure as well as I, I, I assume a lot of the people probably felt like they had to be there whilst two people were on the pedal as well converging them on right that's that was what I mean, these tasks need to it and that didn't really happen in this particular case mm -hmm. it was very much around the two people 
the rest of the team, uh, the rest of the housemates, didn't really care about what was going on in Just the Just went off and did their own thing. Exactly. Okay, so, so they didn't work well together at all as a team, you know, It think. wasn't a, a challenging enough task that, that enabled them to work together um, as, as, a, as a whole group. Mm -hmm. just individually as they sat here pedalling away. Sure. And a couple of nights ago, the boys, or about four of them at least, were sort of crowded around the pedalo, and a couple of them, including Federico, said that he didn't trust the girls, to, not in a nasty way, but didn't trust the girls to, to actually do the job. Now, old-fashioned chauvinism? Um, I would say, yeah, chauvinism of the worst kind, yeah. actually. I mean, let's be honest about it. Uh, this is a, a nice little challenge where it's about patience and stamina, and as you and I both, both know, those qualities are of, of the, for the girls are, are really where they're much better than us, us blokes. I was so going to ask how women and, and men react differently in, in the test of endurance, if at all. Um, in, in endurance, for certain, I think on our boats, in particular around the world, the girls were infinitely tougher when it came to long physical endurance over Why 10 months. Why do you months. think that is? Is that because women feel, uh, in, in maybe in that case, that they have to work twice as hard to prove themselves? I think it's because they, uh, they find easier ways of doing things, and the guys tend to want to physically grunt up for all the jobs, and they end up tiring themselves out. And just with a lot of sleep de deprivation, a lot of anxiety and so on, I think women just handle the stress better. Well, you're going to fit in very well around this show. OK, um, so they fail, but will that be good or bad for them as a group? I think overall it is going to be seen as, as something quite bad, um, but the way they took it was, was key to this. Mm -hmm. They all cheered, and I think ultimately it's, it's on the wave behind now. They've forgotten about it. And Do you think they have, though? I mean, when someone sort of like messed up a... Uh, a jib or something while you were <laughs> while you were away. Did, I mean, do people forget about stuff like that, or they, is well, it always the, in the back of their head? The, the key thing is that if for the team to move forward, the housemates to move forward, they've got to yeah. get it get, be, get it beyond them. And uh, I think Federico, in some ways, is showing the right moves. He's quite remorseful. He's quite quiet. Maybe he'll be forgiven. Maybe he won't. Okay. Uh, lastly, if you had to set them a task that would really test their sort of uh, you know team building skills or whatever, what would it be? I've been thinking a little bit about this, and the key thing here is I think. We need to get them tired. We need to actually deprive them of some, some of their sleep, so they're a little bit scratchy. Um, something like uh, something that involves the whole team. I think yeah. if we don't find a mental task soon, poor John is going to explode. So <laughs> we um, we Brilliant. we better find something for him to. He's, to he's got a side him, isn't he? I like that. Okay. Thank you very much, Conrad. More from you later on. Um, don't forget to call us on BBLB with the certain task you would like to set the housemates. For example, one here, uh, Hannah fancies John. Well, that's probably obviously not a task. Hannah from Milton Keynes said, uh, "We blindfold the housemates in turn, and they must correctly guess the identity of three of the fellow housemates by touching hands." Just an example, after the break we're talking more about Federico the Italian stallion with a woman who's been dreaming about him. Radio 1 DJ Nimon Plus, we report on a birthday girl Steph's family home. And don't forget, there's four people up for eviction this week. Here are the all-important numbers if you want to evict them. To evict Anushka, dial 0991-214401. Or text vote Anushka to 85444. To evict Federico, dial 09011 214403. Or text vote Federico to 85444. To evict John, dial 09011 214405. Or text vote John to 85444. Or to vote Scott, dial 09011 214409. Or text Boat Scott to 85444. Yes, indeed, 12 people. 12 people in the house, just in case you'd forgotten. Very much like a jury. Uh, welcome back. We're asking you today uh, to tell us what uh, tasks you'd like to set the housemates. Emails and texts have been flooding in. For example, uh, Kerry from Dorset, housemates must draw portraits of each other in secret and incorrectly guess uh, which drawing is of them and indeed who's done it. Uh, Mary from Liverpool, housemates must carry a ball around for the day. If a ball leaves their hands and makes contact with the floor, they lose the task. Oh, I like that. Give her a job. Um, Thank you very much for all of them. Please do keep them coming in. Now, the day started so well for our housemates. The sun was out. There was a birthday to celebrate. But as we revealed before the break, it all went horribly wrong for our 12 friends. When they found out at lunchtime, they failed the pedalo task and would have to live on 4.75 a week. This failure was down to one housemate and one housemate only. I hate to say it, Federico. So we thought we'd have a bit of a chat with him, uh, about him rather, and uh, who better to do so. Shoot the fat with uh, Federico is a lady 
who's been having dreams about him. <laughs> you Radio reckon? One uh, DJ Neman. Hello, Neman. How are you? I'd be slightly disturbed if I'd be having dreams now. about I'll, Federico. Our, our booker says that you, she heard you say it on the radio. Isn't that true? Nah. What do you make Federico? You, it's all it's all a dream. What do you make of him then? He's a big poser. Do you like him? Are you, um, I was I think led I'm to believe there was a bit of a. Oh, I like Federico. Oh, you reckon? No, you no, 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 definitely not. No, no. He's he's posed in his sunglasses right from the very beginning, which kind of. I think counts against him. Yeah. Even doing a task inside with sunglasses, I think that was a bit much. And then in the pool uh, with sunglasses. Belly, so big uh, no no need. Of, not a big fan of sunglasses? Not or? a big fan of Federico in sunglasses. Hey, I think, okay, yeah, so now you screwed up the task uh, for the housemates. <gasps> I know. What do you think about that? I think he was being a bit cocky. And I think he he thought, hey, I'll just sort of show off a little bit in front of... Was he on the pedalo with Anushka? Yes. Yeah, I think he was kind of showing what off. Do you think he fancies Anushka? I, he did a bit of flirting with her via Scott on the pedalo, um, something I saw over the last couple of days. Yeah. And I was thinking, hmm, When well, he perhaps. was saying she's sexually harassing me. Yeah, Scott. yeah. And I actually thought, mm, you wish, young man. Yeah. So I think, I think that could be a bit a future not, I, thing. Do you not feel quite sorry for him, though? Because I think the minute he got up and went to get the gum, he kind of realised what he'd done. Oh, no. And then sat down and then literally just tried to, you know, just Big time sweep it onto the carpet, yeah. Yeah, and not owning up to the housemates wasn't a good move. Yeah, but do you think that was just out of fear, though? Yeah, probably, but he's got to spend, well, potentially another ten weeks with him in the house. Or a couple of days. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? He could go after that. Okay, now, should we forgive him, then? Oh, should we forgive him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, ladies so. in the house love him. Do you think that's all going to change now? Is now you know, I think they might quite house. like it, the fact that he's sort of pushed the boat out a little bit. I think they might like his sort of... You know, he's not so straight. He might kind of. I think he's reacted very ways. well to it in many ways, though, because yeah. he's kind of done the whole, oh, I'm so sorry thing, got outside. And he hasn't oh, got look, any... aren't I bad? I'm really sorry. He, he hasn't do puppy dog eyes as well. Because if I did that, I'd, I'd literally be in the corner yeah. just going, oh, I'm really sorry, really sorry. And be quite <laughs> manic and got, literally quite depressed. And rocking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's, that wouldn't be good. A big fan of him calling me in, asking me if I want to take <laughs> some sedatives or something. But he <laughs> seems to be quite, you know, he's kind of, he's still there, he's still chilling, he's, you know. Okay, which might, which could work against him actually, because they may want him to be a little bit more trite that he's that he's messed up. Mm -hmm. But you know, who knows? Now, what about the public? I mean, who who do you think the public's favourite is right now? What are you getting? What are you gauging? Gauging. Your when, they, when people ring you up during the day. People like Scott actually, and I think Scott's got hidden depths. I think we said that on the show on Saturday actually that he he could surprise everybody. <laughs> Anyone else? So Scott, what are you like? like who, what, what about you personally? I've had to change my mind about Sissy, who really bugged me on Friday night, and I would have definitely Why? put her up for eviction. Just, I don't know, can't tell you. I think it could be a woman thing, but she really, really irritated me. And I'm kind of changing my mind a little bit about okay, And Justine has always been lovely. With our phone in mind, uh, what, what task would you set for the housemates? Uh, definitely more obstacles and kind of like outward bound stuff outside. Excellent. Lovely. Bit of alfresco. Uh, so it's Steph's 20. Uh, more from you later on. Okay. Sorry, very sloppy link there. So it's Steph's 28th birthday. The housemate surprised Steph earlier with a cake and presents. Very nice cake too, made by Goss. But there's something else in store for the birthday girl. Now, Big Brother has filmed a special birthday message for Steph, uh, which they're going to play for her tonight. It stars the two most important men in her life: her dogs, Ronnie and Mackie. We wanted to meet these funny old canines to find out why they sort of were so special. So we sent. Uh, we took a trip with Big Brother to Steph's family home in Redditch. Take a look at this. Steph won't mind having a birthday in the house. She can say in 2003, I spent my birthday in the Big Brother house and it will be great. <coughs> Ronnie is Steph's dog. He's a four-year-old cross Labrador. She absolutely loves him to bits. And Mackie's my dog, who's eight years old. And Steph and I are always arguing whose dog's the best. Ronnie sometimes sits in the conservatory on the chair and I'm sure he does miss Steph. Her granddad lives eight doors away, and so we're all in one street, and it's really nice. I'm going to miss Steph very much on her birthday. I love you, Bab, very much. When she sees the dogs on, on video, she will beam from ear to ear. She might even have a little weep. She would be so chuffed, because there wouldn't be a better birthday present. How utterly bonkers does Ronnie look? Did you see him? 
lovely looking dog. You probably didn't see that, but I'm talking about a dog, <laughs> not a man. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, okay a cool BBLV today is what uh, task would you like to set the housemates? Still delighted to be joined by Nimone and Connor, even though we've repoed over to the big sofa. Um, who have we got on the line? Should be Claire from Stockport, who's going to riff with us about flat packed furniture. Hello, Claire. Hi there, dear Mark. You all right? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Are you? Yeah, I'm not bad, thanks a lot. So, what do you reckon? I reckon they should have um, a task of flat pack furniture because it's just taken us six hours to put up a bookcase. And the instructions are always in Japanese. What does she say? I think the instructions should be in Japanese and yeah. they should be having a who can do the flat pack thing the fastest. Lovely. Okay, who, who would you be betting on then, Claire? Um, I reckon probably John because he's a bit of a boss. <laughs> he, he'd probably do really well with that. I don't think John would be assembling that furniture before he was even through the door. Yeah, sure, he'd read the instructions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what, and what oh, do you yeah. reckon for this weekend then, hon? Sorry? What do you reckon for this weekend? Who's going to go? Um, probably John, which will be a bit of a shame because I, I've got to like him now. I wasn't keen at first, but um, I really like him now, but I think he's going to go. He's comedy value, isn't he? He is. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK. Uh, email from Julie from Cambridge. The housemates nominate two contestants uh, who have one day to learn five yo-yo tricks and perform them at the end of the day. Yo-yo fans? Ooh, yeah, I'm a fan of yo-yo, actually. Yeah, that could be quite dog. tricky. No. No, me neither. I can just about let the yo-yo go and it doesn't come back up again, so that'd be good. <laughs> OK, uh, Katie from Walthamstow. Uh, something to do with the Bocking Bronco. Hello. Hello, Katie. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Yeah, flying. Go for it. I think that the contestants should be made to start with their basic food rations and then buck a Bronco until their allowance comes up. So, so they buck the Bronco for how long until...? For, for allocated times until... Yeah. And to bring up their allowance. Lovely. And not be allowed to eat without them bucking the Bronco. You know what would have been an amazing idea? <laughs> no. Um, to deviate from your bucking Bronco, actually put them on a bucking Bronco with their food <laughs> for a week, and after 30 seconds, all the food that was remaining was what they could eat. Yeah. yeah. Like that I or like not? That. Or their bog roll ration. Or yeah. their bog roll Get ration. Get rid of that. Thank you very much. Nice touch. Thank you very much, Katie. Thanks. Miles from Wellingborough. Um, something to do with Paris, is that right? Uh, it's, it's, uh, the task could be called uh, Blind Fate. Um, it starts at 7 o'clock in the morning with the group being woken up and paired off. Yeah. One of the housemates would be blindfolded and the other must actually act as their carer for the next 12 hours. That would include dressing, feeding, drinking and generally sort of moving around the house. Mm. Next day, roles reversed. So how fair, how nasty would they be to each other if yeah. one person refuses to perform a task, take the blindfold off, end off, end of task. Do you work for NASA or something? Yeah. That was incredible. I'm just Makes very job, evil. Definitely. Please come down because we'd love you here. You're wonderful. Thank you very much, Miles. No Miles. problem. And, of course, it was pears as opposed to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, lastly, Hannah from Leon C. Hello, Hannah. Hello. Go for it. Um, well, I thought um, <clears throat> that the housemates could do sort of a battle of the bands kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, um, boys v girls. Yep. And they have to make their own pop video and dress up and have a bit of a laugh oh. and stuff. And then um, the loser, like, so the public votes in and everything, and the losers... Um, have to be the winner's slaves for a week. Pure. I'm loving you that. like that? Yeah. Who do you reckon's got the best voice, just out of interest? Um, what, out of all the housemates? Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Who would you like to hear sing? Um, is it Joss? There you go. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> OK, thank you very much, and thank you very much to Cora and to Indeed and Nimone. On tomorrow's show, Leadership in the House, Linda Barker, and we meet John's lady friend, dear Lord. Six o'clock, Channel 4, see you then.